Hello everyone, I am Naneshwari Chitravar. Welcome to my channel Anytime Maths. In this video, we are covering very simple topic that is relation between roots and the coefficients of quadratic equation. Relation between roots and coefficients. General quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. If I say roots of these equations are alpha and beta and the coefficients of these equations are a, b, c. Then let's see what is the relation between roots alpha, beta and coefficients a, b, c of this quadratic equation. In my previous video, we have already seen the formula to find the roots that is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So if alpha and beta are the roots, what are the alpha, beta then? Alpha will be, alpha will be minus b plus square root term divided by 2a and beta will be minus b minus square root term divided by 2a, right? Now let's build the relation between alpha, beta and a, b, c coefficients. Let's see what we will get if we add these two roots. Alpha plus beta means this term plus this term. So 2a is in denominator, common denominator. In numerator, it is minus b plus square root term, minus b minus square root term. Addition means this and this gets cancelled. So we are left with minus 2b by 2a. So this value is minus b by a. So we can say alpha plus beta sum is minus b by a. Now let's see what we will get if we multiply these two roots alpha into beta. In multiplication, numerator will be this into this. So minus b plus square root term into minus b minus square root term divided by 2a into 2a it is 4a square. Now consider this minus b as x. This is like x plus y into x minus y. So product will be x square minus y square, right? Minus b square minus square root term b square minus 4ac whole square divided by 4a square, right? Now let's simplify this. So what we will get? Minus b square is b square minus square of this term. Square root and square get cancelled. So we are left with only this b square minus 4ac term. So negative of this will be minus b square plus 4ac by 4a square. This and this gets cancelled. So we are left with 4ac, 4ac by 4a square, 4, 4 gets cancelled, a, a gets cancelled. Then we are left with c by a. Fine. Alpha plus beta sum is minus b by a. Product of the root alpha beta is c by a. Let's summarize here. Sum of the root alpha plus beta is minus b by a and product of the root alpha beta is c by a. Okay. Here in this corner I have written the summary. Sum of the roots is minus b by a and product of the roots is c by a. Now let's solve this quickly. If alpha beta are the roots of this equation 10x square plus 10x plus 1 equal to 0 then find alpha plus beta and alpha beta. Here we don't have to find first roots alpha values of alpha and beta then this no directly with this formula we can find these values this is nothing but sum of the roots alpha plus beta and product of the roots let's quickly find out first let's find a b c values so by comparing 10x square plus 10x plus 1 equal to 0 with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we will get a as 10 b as 10 and c as 1 so what is sum of the roots alpha plus beta will be minus b by a just now we have seen this formula so this is minus b by a this is minus 1 done now let's find the product alpha beta product of the roots is c by a 1 by 10 that's it these are the solution for this alpha plus beta is minus 1 and alpha beta is 1 by 10 easy now let's take few examples 
difference between the roots of the equation x square minus 13x plus k equal to 0 is 7. Difference of the roots is given. Then we have to find k. How to find this? See the equation is x square minus 13x plus k equal to 0. Here a is 1, b is minus 13 and c is k. Let's take alpha and beta as the roots of this equation. It's not given, so let's take variables. Let alpha, beta be the roots of the equation. Okay. Now, can we find sum of the roots? Alpha plus beta will be minus b by a minus of minus 13 by 1. That is plus 13. And product of the roots is c by a. Alpha beta is c by a. That is k by 1. So, from this what we got? Alpha plus beta is 13. And alpha beta is k. And one more information we have. Difference between the roots of the equation is 7. Difference between the roots means alpha minus beta is 7. This is our first equation. This is second equation. Can we find alpha beta value? Then we can substitute here and we can find the value of k. Fine. Now let us quickly solve 1 and 2. See by simply adding 1 and 2 this beta term gets cancelled. So we are left with 2 alpha is equals to 20. So alpha will be 10. Now from first equation alpha plus beta is 13 means 10 plus beta is 13. So beta is 3. Now let us substitute alpha beta in this equation. Product of the roots is k. Alpha into beta is k. So k is 30. This is the value of k. Got it? See from this equation first we have found the sum and the product and difference of the roots is already given. By solving it we have found the values of roots that is 10 and 3. These are the roots of this equation. Now k is nothing but product of the roots. Okay, so by simply multiplying the roots, we got the value of k. If alpha, beta are the roots of this equation, then find this alpha square plus beta square and alpha cube plus beta cube. How to find that? See, alpha and beta are the roots of this equation. It is already given. We can find the sum of the roots and product of the roots from this equation. Okay, let us quickly find it out. The equation is x square plus 5x minus 1 equal to 0. And alpha and beta are the roots of this equation. So, sum of the roots alpha plus beta will be minus b by a minus 5 by 1. And product of the roots alpha beta is c by a minus 1 by 1. Okay, these are the values we got. Can you imagine an equation having these terms alpha square plus beta square and these terms alpha plus beta and alpha beta. See, if we square this term, alpha plus beta whole square, we get all these terms in this formula. Alpha square plus 2 alpha beta plus beta square. Fine. We have this value, sum of the roots we have. We have product of the roots. We have to find alpha square plus beta square. Easy. Now, let us quickly find alpha square plus beta square. This is nothing but sending this term on this side. Alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Let us substitute these numbers. Sum of the roots and product of the roots. Alpha plus beta is minus 5. And 2 into alpha beta is minus 1. Okay. Now this is 25 minus minus 2. Means plus. Plus 27 is the answer for this. Alpha square plus beta square is 27. Okay. Now this. Alpha cube plus beta cube. Can you solve it on your own? Pause this video. Take screenshot. Try to solve it on your own. Then match your answers with mine. Here I am giving you hint. First imagine the equation containing this term and this term. Okay. Let us first find the equation containing this term. Alpha cube plus beta cube and these terms. See, we want cube terms. Let us cube this alpha plus beta term. 
so what we will get alpha plus beta whole cube this is nothing but alpha cube plus 3 alpha square beta plus 3 alpha beta square plus beta cube right now from this we can write alpha cube plus 3 alpha beta common and alpha plus beta plus beta cube now in this equation we have this value alpha plus beta we have alpha beta value we have alpha plus beta can we find alpha cube plus beta cube if we substitute these three terms we can find alpha cube plus beta cube right so let's quickly find it out see alpha plus beta whole cube means minus 5 cube is equals to alpha cube plus 3 into alpha beta that is minus 1 into alpha plus beta is minus 5 plus beta cube so this value is minus 125 is equals to alpha cube this is plus 15 plus beta cube alpha cube plus beta cube will be minus 125 and minus 15 so this value is minus 140 right so the value of alpha cube plus beta cube is minus 140 this is the solution now let's take very simple small topic see when we have quadratic equation we have seen how to find roots when we have roots when we have this alpha beta values can we find the quadratic equation reverse see means we have to find values of a b c we know alpha beta values okay so alpha beta we already know we can say alpha plus beta is minus b by a and alpha beta's product of the roots is c by a this term we already know but we have to find a b c values in the terms of alpha beta simply take a is 1 and find b and c values in the terms of alpha c a is 1 so what is b b is nothing but minus of alpha plus beta and c is c a is 1 c is alpha beta fine so our equation becomes x square minus alpha plus beta x plus c that is plus alpha beta right so whenever we have roots we can build this quadratic equation if we have roots quadratic equation will be x square minus sum of the roots x plus product of the roots easy right reverse thing see this equation you can find it in other way also see alpha and beta are the roots means x is equals to alpha and x equal to beta fine so we can say x minus alpha is 0 or x minus beta is equals to 0 so these are the factors we can say means x minus alpha into x minus beta is 0 if we open this bracket we will get the same equation see x square minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha beta is equals to 0 so this equation becomes x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta is equals to 0 same equation we got here we have found the values of abc in the terms of alpha beta here we have taken alpha beta as the roots then we have seen the factors as x minus alpha and x minus beta when we open this bracket we get the same answer so whenever you have roots equation for these roots will be x square minus sum of the roots x plus product of the roots this is your quadratic equation got it simple Thank you everyone hope you like this video and understood the concept